Wait a minute. Okay. Good morning. It's Nancy today again. I didn't think you knew that I would come back, but I did. Now it's cold outside. You can see that there's a bit of color on the leaves around me. So I am not dressed warmly enough. You can see this. I'm going to teach you how to dress for the weather. Now, we can start off with something thin because who knows? You see, when you dress in layers, you can take things off without getting completely undressed and changing. So I'm going to show you how you can dress in layers because as the sun rises, it gets a little warmer, you might want to take a layer off. And then it gets a little warmer, you might want to take another layer off. You might wonder how many layers we're talking about, but I'm talking about really being nice and snugly warm. Okay, so first, we're going to, this is cold, so I'll take off my hat, which matches the dress, sort of. Actually, it doesn't match right. I have a different one, but I didn't wear that too. Okay, now how does this go? So, now if you wear loose things like this, it traps the air in between. Some people say, but aren't you cold with a skirt on? But you see, there's all that space in between there. Lots of space. And <laughs> are you checking out that space? See, in there is space. Okay, and between the layers, see, there's more space. See, when I move this one, the other one doesn't move? Okay, and in there is a nice layer of air. And you will warm up that layer. All but your body will do it. You don't have to do a thing. Okay, so now I'm still a little cold, actually. I think that my arms are going to need a little bit of something. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so let's put another layer on. Now, of course I'll have to have a hat to match. We'll go with this one. Okay, now, how do I feel? Well, it's warm up here on my arms, and it's more warm right here because there's three layers right here. There's one layer here. Those are thin layers. These are for summertime. So I'm going to put on another layer. I'm going to go for this one. There's a giant cliff down there. If my hat falls off, I have a long way to go to find another one. To find it. Okay. So this is what we can do. We can just add another layer. Now, if you'll notice, at the bottom here, it's a little longer. So down here, this little thin, thin layer, you see how thin this layer is? Very thin. Well, now I add this layer to it, and I have two thin layers and space in between. The air will, keep, will warm up. Okay, and how do I feel now? Well, it's still a bit chilly, so I'll take another one. Now, if you notice how big these are, I know that you might not have noticed that I'm rather large. I have a Renaissance figure. I was just born a few hundred years too late. So, I just take another very large dress and over it goes. Whee! Now I'm getting really nice, I'm feeling good. This is nice. But it's still a little thin on my legs. Oh, so with this one, I guess this will need to be the hat for this. There, how's that? <coughs> See, I'm getting sick. I wasn't dressed warmly enough. Okay, let's just warm up a little more. Let's put this one on top. But you know, my arms are still a bit cold. So before we do that, let's put on this one. Now, if you use cotton, cotton kind of won't slide around. And you don't want your layers to be all, you know, will. So if you wear something slippery, I don't know what this is made of. Something man-made. Let's see, what does it say? Jeepers, it says a lot of stuff. You know, oh, 100% polyester. Okay. Won't breathe. That's what you want in the, in the cold. Okay. And it slides right over everything else you're wearing. You see? There we go. <clears throat> now I'm feeling nice on top. But down here, I'm still cold. So I could just, let's just put on an under thing, okay? And here we go. <clears throat> Now this is not a slippery one, and so all my skirts on top of it just might not slide around like they should. Oh gosh, I'm all stuck up in there. <laughs> Where is it there? Okay, we got 
the little blue dress? Where's the little blue dress gone? Oh my gosh, my dress is hiked right up. Oh. Okay, let's get this down here. Stuck on something in the back. That would be my body. Okay, here, now I'm feeling really good. That's for right now, but the wind might blow. As soon as the sun rises, see the sun hasn't risen yet. We are up early. Oh my gosh, I'm, more, I'm speaking to you without a hat on. You won't even know it's Nancy today. Do you like the bird? <laughs> He's so cute. He tried to fly away in the winter. I mean the summer. He was going to go... No, in the winter. Fall. He was going to migrate. Okay, so I'm really not warm enough if the wind blows. So, now this dress is even bigger. Look at that. It's even bigger than me. Imagine! I didn't know things like that existed. But it does. So. We'll put this on. Oh, now I'm feeling toasty warm. Okay, now, if I want to go curl up somewhere and read a book outside, you know how it is in, in the fall. You kind of say, oh my, it's cold. I don't want to sit outside to read. I'll sit in the house. Or what if you want to make a basket? Or anything fun. So you might want something even bigger. This is a one-size-fits-all. Now, I don't usually go for one-size-fits-all because they're usually pretty small. But look at that. It does. I fit right into it. I am inside all of this. It's a little thick on the top, though. I don't know. It's not really all that comfortable. I think I'm going to take off one of these layers underneath. <laughs> I could see what you were thinking. You were thinking, do we have to watch that? I don't think we want to watch that. Well, except for my feet, which still have these flimsy little shoes which have no traction and no heat retain retention properties, I feel warm. Okay, so that's it, Mayor. I think we're going to just wash the windows and rinse out that container. And what was the other thing we were doing? Dressing. <laughs> doing a Nancy <coughs> Today video. <coughs> okay, well, we'll... What? Show the window. See, we already did this window. We just did it because we had to wait for a moment while we found the keys to the car to get the hats out. See, we're at the cottage. And so we did that in the meantime. And then while Mary was waiting for me to get them out of the car, she squirted the other window. And now we're making a video. And this is really what we were doing while we were waiting for this other thing to... We see we have this... You see this tub, it was really gungy, full of leaves and all that black stuff. So, I'm rinsing it out, but the rinsing of the water is so slow up here in the woods. Look at how it comes out. You know, I mean, that's what we're supposed to use for water. So, it's taking a while. So, I had it in here, and it was draining. It was cleaning out the gunge. But I think it's almost clean enough that we could just tip it back down. We can forget about that bit because it's going to be lost. So what we can do is just tip her back down. Whoopsie, that's not the right way, Nancy. Bow down. It's a good thing I've got my work clothes on. So I'm not going to be cold. <laughs> now, don't let that bother you when things like that happen. Things like that will happen because this is life and things don't go the right way. Have you ever noticed that? You want something to go one way and it goes another. But we can fix this. We'll just lift Toki Shanger. I'm going to show you how you can get this up on that without really using all your muscles. See, well, first we'll just lift it on its end so I'm not lifting it all the way. I will lean it on that. Now, we women have to deal with this a lot. You know, men could just come in there and just pick it up and put it there. But since we're so frail and feminine, we have to find other ways. So we tip it on there first, and then we are just going to look at that. It just barely took anything at all. So now all we need to do is shove it. Has anyone ever told you to shove it? Okay. And there it is, right 
<laughs> there it goes. Okay, that's it. Nancy today is signing off.